Ought not you be loose today? Shouldn't you be well today? Shouldn't you be out of debt today? Shouldn't your financial situation get healed today? Glory to God. Well, good morning, everybody from Sacramento, California. The healer is in the house today. Welcome to the Sacramento Victory Campaign live from Calvary Christian Center right here in beautiful Sacramento, California. Of course, it is Saturday morning and for, oh, I think nearly 40 years now, we've been having what we call healing school on Saturday morning at every one of our meetings. And this is a significant day for a lot of people because Jesus always comes to these healing schools. The presence of Jesus, the, actually, the man himself shows up at these healing schools and people's lives are changed, people's bodies are healed. And so you come expecting today as we share the word of God with you for the next 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna have some testimonies uh, to share with you as well. I am joined this morning by really a, a minister. He is a minister of healing. This man's ministry has been all over the world. He's taught, taught to people, but he's also laid hands and, on people and not, he hasn't healed them, but Jesus has healed them. Yes, Tracy Harris is with me this morning. How are it's you, my a friend? It's to see you, Brother Tim. It's Glory to God. What a joy to, to be you. here today. And the light, the, the yes. atmosphere is electric. It really is. With the power of God. People are making their way in here for the meeting this morning and uh, they're, they're expecting, and we hope you are expecting it at home as well. Uh, your background. Uh, in ministry, you you came you kind of came up under Brother Hagen and some of the other ministers oh, of gospel. Yeah, I'm a graduate of Old Roberts University, and you know uh, I sought the Lord. The anointing's a very real thing, and it is yeah. transferable. Absolutely. You know, you see from from Moses to Joshua, from Elijah to Elisha, from Jesus to his disciples, uh, no mantles ever leave the earth. I mean, even Elisha, that mantle on him after he died, it was in his bones, and yeah. the anointing in his bones raised the dead. So. Yeah. You know, glory be to God, I was uh, visited by the Lord supernaturally uh, after uh, three days after Brother Oral Roberts actually laid hands on me many years ago as a graduate, knowing I was called to the Ministry of Healing and Deliverance, and now on five continents around the world, uh, the blind eyes are opening, the deaf ears continue to open, the cripples walk, demons scream and leave, and Jesus does what he always does, yeah. which is not only have mercy on the whole earth, yeah. But he's the same. Absolutely. Yesterday, today, and forever. That and that's why we're right. here. Yeah. In fact, you know, when he visited me that third morning early, uh, the glory of the Lord filled up that room. And I want to say something about Sacramento that I believe is a prophetic word I got here the opening night. It's yeah. Isaiah 57. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. And I began to see the glory of God coming in over California to fulfill the prophet's words about a mighty move in California, yeah. like a blanket, like a wet fog off of the ocean wood right. in the natural. God's glory is gonna visit this place today. Amen. And they will fear the name of the Lord from the West. Amen. We're certainly on the West Coast, That's right? right. Yes. And his glory. Yes. And he kept saying, and his glory. That's right. And his glory. So yeah. his glory is here today. You made a point a minute ago, I'd never thought of it this way, that the anointing is transferable. Absolutely. Had it not been, it would have died with Jesus. Absolutely. The healing anointing would have died with Jesus had it not been transferable. Absolutely, because it's the, actually it's one of the spiritual laws, the law of contact and transmission. That's yeah. why we lay hands on the sick and they recover. It's why everything, listen to the Deuteronomy 28 blessing, everything you put your hands to will be blessed. Right. So the blessing of the Lord comes on people when hands are laid on them. Yeah. But what most people miss many times is there's so many ways for God to heal. He wants to heal people so desperately that there's so many ways. They could be healed over communion. They could be healed over. Right. And there's people in the auditorium. I'm looking at them yeah. right now. And now I'm looking at the camera yeah. and the worldwide and international audience. And I'm saying you could be healed by the prayer of agreement over communion. But the Bible says he sends his word and heals them and delivers them from their destruction. So the word becomes flesh and dwells among us. In the five continents over the world, massive crusades. Once we preach the word, it's impossible to lay hands on thousands of people yeah. individually. Right. And many times we just come give the command of healing like Brother Copeland will do today. Now we may lay hands on a few people as directed, right. but we may not. Right. And what we need to understand is that God's word ushered by faith in the name of Jesus is 
his healing hand Glory. stretched forth. Glory. And it's what the Roman centurion experienced. He said to Jesus, it's not necessary you come under my roof, but speak the word only. Yes. In other words, he's saying the spoken word of faith by the authority of the name of Jesus is the very same thing yeah. as Jesus come into your house yeah. and he still makes house calls and he's going to yes, visit this house today. I know that the Lord has given you something. I want to get into that. You know, awesome. What, what the Lord has given you well, for today. Here's what, as we were praying over into this meeting, there are mighty miracles and we're not going to have time in the pre-show here to talk about the words of knowledge he gave me, but I'm just going to tell you, literally resurrection power is in the room. Yeah. Body parts, organs are going to come, lives are going to change, joints are going to come, teeth are going to come. I'm telling you, right by the Spirit of God. And even over the internet, you need to call in when you get your miracle. That's right. But I, That's right. I, I, there's two, two words here. One of them was Deuteronomy 32.10. And it says this, and it speaks of Jacob's inheritance. It says the Lord's portion is his people, and Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So we're talking about the inheritance of the Lord. And in verse 10, it says, He found him in a desert land and in a howling void of wilderness. And the Amplified says this way, Brother Tim, he kept circling around him. He scanned him, it says. Scanned yeah. him penetratingly, kept him as the pupil of his eyes. Wow. He goes on to say, an eagle stirs up her nest and flutters over her young and bears them on eagle's wings. Then verse 12, the Lord alone did lead him. There was no strange God with him. And the Lord, I think, wants people to know that uh, healing is a mercy gift. And that if a son asks anything from the father, He's not going to give him a scorpion or a no. snake or something false. That's right. And uh, here he says that I found him in a waste howling wilderness. And without getting deep into the exegesis of this passage, he's talking about an absolute Middle Eastern sandstorm where the sand is blowing sideways so hard, it's like a hurricane of sand. So the first thing you would do is protect your eyes. Yeah. First thing you would do is keep your eyes, your nose, you would cover completely up because you're disoriented. You can't find your way. And the Lord told me there's a lot of people who have been believing for a breakthrough for a long, long time, and it's like they're confused and in a sandstorm. They don't know which way to go. That's exactly right. And here the Word says that the Lord alone will lead him. And here's what it says. He scanned him penetratingly. That idea yeah. is he kept circling around them wherever they went. He was their guard on every side. And when it says he kept them as a pupil of his eye, this is such a big point. And here's why because it doesn't mean that he just kept him in the center of his focus. It means God protected Jacob's inheritance as if he were protecting his very own vision. So he's saying God will not protect the people any less than he will protect his own throne and his own kingdom. Yeah. So when Satan assaulted himself against the throne and God thrust him out with faith-filled words, there's faith-filled words today yes. for God to thrust the enemy back off the lives of the people because he's scanning them yeah. He's penetrating your life. He sees yeah. that you've been confused and you're wondering, when's my breakthrough coming? But I'm telling you, he's protecting your life yes. as his very own vision. And he has a covenant with you, a covenant of miracles with you. And he's going to lead you. There'll be today no strange God with you. The curse is broken. That's right. There's going to be no more curse. Jesus always dealt with the root, didn't he? he? Every time. Which is what that scan's about. Yeah. You know, the Lord showed me as I was praying in here, I saw inside of people's bodies, like Crohn's disease, things that were inside that you couldn't see in the natural, in the spirit, right. by word of knowledge, right. which happens all over the world. You've seen that in these meetings sure. many times. I saw spots on some people's bones, especially their legs. Bone cancer is going to be healed today. Glory. Lesions and spots are going to be leaving today. Metastasized cancer is going to be leaving today. And you've seen that happen. Oh, many times. Not because you're not just saying that. These are things you've seen happen yes, throughout absolutely. your ministry. In fact, since we were in Branson together, uh, there's someone right here in the state of California. I'm not going to tell where it was. Her name would take too much time. But it was a young person that had been in a car wreck 16 years before. Incessant pain since that time. Born in Hong Kong. Lived in England. And I met him here in California in a meeting. And uh, throbbing pain. Had been in the hospital with debilitating pain the two nights before. When the working of miracles came in that room. Took their leg, the hip joint. Everything got totally recreated. It's as if the power got blew them across the room. It was phenomenal. Yeah. The next day they came in to a session and they said, all oh, the pain's gone, I'm totally free. Yeah. Come to find out that had been sitting there, these debilitating headaches, I laid hands on him one more time. Yeah. This young man was in the floor for like 30 minutes. When he got up, he was bleeding and he's thinking something's terribly wrong. <laughs> he went to the restroom with an associate who witnessed all of this. They've got yeah. it documented. Right. And he felt something begin to move from his head. And it doesn't do this very often. It's happened three or four times over the years. But the point is, it came out four 
things like with tentacles, he came out of his mouth and he was instantly free and there's no symptom of anything that's been there for 16 years. My goodness. What we need to understand, I know your question is, what is this? Yeah. It's the spirit life behind disease. Yes. Our spirit gives life to our body. Yes. Well, the demon spirit, the demon spirit of infirmity gives life to the diseased body. Yeah. And when that root, tap root is cut, you said it gets to the root. When the root's cut, right. the body of the disease dies. Amen. Yes. And that's what came out of that young man. And, yeah. and we had another man backed over by a truck and couldn't, the joints gone, crushed, had totally been debilitated on disability. 400 pounds if he weighed an ounce, a mammoth of a man. Couldn't come up steps. And he had his front porch like this, laid hands on him. When he got home, he walked up the steps. When he got on the porch, he said, wait a minute. I just walked up those steps. He said he walked up the steps of his porch 25 times yeah. because in the meeting, God recreated his knees and yeah. his ankles yeah. that were crushed. Yes. And, but God. He's here today. <laughs> this Jesus. Yeah, this same Jesus. This same Jesus. Yes. And, is here today. And you don't have, there's no qualification, really. No. For you. To, Absolutely to get not. Well, because healing is a mercy of God. Yes. Sometimes we yes. rush through this a little bit. We need to yes. kind of take a breath, even though we have a short sure. time here. And you simply bet. say, healing is God's mercy. Yeah. Peace drives it. Peace is nothing missing, nothing broken. Right. Today, the mercy of God is extending through the camera. Right. And uh, he's here, and he's the same, and love never fails. You know, the second verse God gave me today for these people, and for you, and for that was that I just prayed out. I mean, it really wasn't like I'm ministering here, but it's just coming out of my spirit as he showed me. Right. Exodus 34, 10. When Moses said, show me your glory, God said, I will make a covenant with you, a covenant of miracles with this whole nation to do marvels, the likes of which the world has never seen. When we think of the covenants of promise, yeah. we typically think Old Testament, New Testament, but he's made many covenants one of the covenants of promise that belong to all of us is the covenant of miracles. Our covenant wow. actually guarantees by eternal blood-bought right yeah. miracles for every child of God. Everyone. There will, I'm guaranteeing there will be miracles here today yeah. because this isn't our word, brother. No, it's not. This is the blood-bought word yeah. of, an, of a lot, God who cannot lie. Who wants to heal every person in the yeah. sound of our voice today. Yeah, absolutely. Brother Tim, they're not going to leave like they came. No, no. You and I have talked about this so many times on this program, and I know there's probably people here in the room, and I'm sure people watching that absolutely. have dealt with infirmities and sicknesses for quite some time, and just maybe have gotten to the point where they almost lost hope. Absolutely. What, what is your advice? What, what is your ministry to those types of people? Well, the Bible says that we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are unseen. For the things which are seen are temporary, and the yeah. unseen things are eternal. The very next verse talks about seeing the glory of the Lord changed into His glory, from glory to glory. Right. When the next chapter starts, it says, seeing then we have this ministry of mercy, we faint not. If you won't grow weary in well-doing, in due season you shall surely reap and harvest your healing if you faint not. And the reason we don't have to faint yeah. is because the mercy of the Lord right. goes before and beyond our faith. Amen. And if He has to, just when you cry out to Him, He'll take what you give Him yeah. and He'll go before and beyond your faith. Yeah. And because of the law, the royal law of love, right. He'll come into the situation. Yeah. And that's the reason for Deuteronomy 32. Yeah. If you're scanning... If you're scant, be right now feel confused and in a dust storm, God's coming and he's coming in mercy and he's going to lead you out of that yeah. and he's going to protect your life as if it was his very own vision. He's got you covered by his mercy and his love never fails. He believes all things. I'm telling you, his love is it. It absolutely is. It's the strength of the it Lord. It absolutely is. Now I've got about two minutes. So take, take about a minute or so, minister to those here and watching and pray for them. I, absolutely. I'm going to take 30 seconds to tell you what just happened this past Sunday. There was a woman in our ministry, been with us for many years, had come to us, actually saw her in the Lowe's. God gave her a brand new heart. Don't have time to tell you the story, but she called Sunday afternoon to tell us, I have a brand new new heart. There's three major things wrong. There's nothing there now. And within the hour, she called back because their child had somehow, and their great parents, they watch and they have videos and everything, but the child fell into the swimming pool, unbeknownst to them for over seven minutes was in that pool. When they found that child, pulled the child out of the pool, 
blue, unresponsive, over seven minutes without oxygen, but they had learned the authority of the name of Jesus yes. in our ministry. They had seen the miracles, and they said the name of Jesus came from a place it never had before. And she said, I command life to come into this baby. I command in the name of water to come out of those lungs in the name of Jesus. And when she said, in the name of Jesus, blah, that baby blew the water out of her lungs. <gasps> she came back and wanted to go back swimming. No yeah. fear. And I'm talking with them when I get home. They just said that she went to the other side and she saw heaven and saw some things. I can't wait to get there and yeah. tell them. But I'm telling you today, this same Jesus, who's the same yesterday, today, and for forever, is the resurrected Lord of glory. Just like that water came out of that baby's lungs by the authority of the name of Jesus, whatever manifestation of sickness and disease is under the curse. Yep. And since the curse of the law has been broken, whatever's in you, water or not, yep. coming out of your body, just name. like she blew it out of her yep. lungs, right. you're blowing disease That's out of your it. body That's by it. the authority of the name That's of it. Jesus. Yes. For if the same spirit that, that raised Jesus yep. from the dead yep. dwells in you, yep. he will make your body alive Absolutely. and look like his glorious yep. body. It's yep. happening today. Rise up, uh, yep. be healed, be blessed, Woo. be helped, Glory. behold! Woo. Woo. Glory to God in the name in the, of Jesus uh, Christ of Nazareth. Now I believe I believe somebody receives that. Yeah. I believe the word of God wow. just went to somebody right there. Maybe some folks in here as well. Now <laughs> We're going to take a, a moment to show you some testimonies from people just like you that have been to these healing schools, have sat under this teaching, and manifestations have happened. God has met them where they were, and the healing power of God has flown through their bodies. At the end of this, Pastor Terry will be here with pre-service prayer. God bless your buddy. Enjoy healing school. Remember, the healer's in the house today. today. This is Virginia from Irvine, California, and she had had a stroke, and her left side was uh, all slumped, and her they said her mind would never be right. And when <laughs> Kenneth and Brother Jerry <laughs> prayed for her with the stroke, yeah. her pain left her head, and her mind is clear. Yes. She looks great to me. <laughs> she looks great. Wow. You know, when I went for the doctor's report, because I have a lot of pain in my head and having headaches a lot, Anyway, I couldn't drive. I'd get real nervous and have panic attacks. And then, and I just recently was diagnosed with that. The doctor said, did, did you know you had a stroke? And I'm like, uh, no, I didn't know what was going on. So anyway, I believe I'm healed, totally healed. When I go back yes. and take those tests, they're not gonna find nothing. Yeah. I am healed in Jesus' you, name. Amen. Everything feels awesome. I, I'm Amen. just like, you know, and I wasn't going around telling anybody. I was just trusting God. I was going for prayer and just trusting God. And, and, and I was going to wait till Brother Copeland came to Sacramento. But I said, no, nope, I believe I know I'm supposed to come here now. <laughs> we'll see you in Sacramento as well, I hope. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Praise Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Thank the Lord. You. you remember this affected my, my right arm. And the Lord said to me, the anointing that was in you, in your right hand, I will increase it. And when you pray for people, put your right hand on them. And he said, and tell them, when you lay hands on them with your right hand, tell them, put their hand on your heart because my presence is there. Amen. This is Floyd Honeycutt from Portland, Arkansas. And he blew out his shoulder throwing a dog in the back of a trunk after a hog hunt. <laughs> A year, a year, a year ago, in the back and, he, in the and when Brother Copeland started doing push-ups, he went down and started doing push-ups, and it's gone. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. This right hand is the one I lay hands on the sick. Praise God. And I would have to get this hand up to, to get it up there. And praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Ooh. I pray for the sick, see, with the right hand. And so I, I see how the enemy would try to stop that. So I had uh, was hog hunting a year ago, uh, a little over a year ago, and uh, was went to slang the, a dog up in the back of my side by side, and I blowed my arm out. So when I did, I hit. It sounded like a 22 rifle went off and blowed it out. So here I am in this service and and uh, and all this healing power, and I, I get. Uh, Brother Kenneth says, uh, let's, uh, let's do some push-ups. Well, he's doing some push-ups. So I come out of my aisle. I knew the Lord had done, done healed my arm and done healed myself. And I 
had had se severe problem with doing push-ups. Praise the Lord, I did them push-ups, and uh, without any problem, without any pain, I would have to raise this arm up. I would go up, and we would be praying to sit, and I'd feel led to pray, and the anointing come on, and I couldn't. And it's amazing that I'd have to use this hand to put it up there, and uh, but not anymore. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Healed by the power of God. This is Diane from St. Louis, and she's also Air Force, by the way, was Air Force, served in Air Force. She's had knee problems for 30 years, has not been able to squat and get back up again on her own strength, had surgeries, finally had a knee replacement in 2014, has not been able to do what she's gonna demonstrate for you in, since 20, oh, for 30 years. Watch this, and I want you to see this today. <laughs> oh, yeah. praise God. Thank you, amen. Yes, amen. My husband and I um, were missionaries for a long time, and we um, concocted some mosquito-borne virus, chicken gonya, chick bee. And uh, so uh, most every symptom left, but it, in the middle of all of that, um, I whacked my knee on the door frame where we lived a couple times, and uh, I've had issues ever since. And uh, she had a pocket of water on her knee, on her right knee, and when he said be healed this morning, she, when she walked out, she had it. When she came back and he said it, it's, it's gone. Thank it's you. It's no longer there. Thank you, Father. How long did it take it to disappear, do you think? I know an hour ago it was there, and, and it's not there now, so. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Let's thank Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. Lord. I just noticed it wasn't there anymore, because he was talking about knees, but I knew when I had gone to the ladies' room earlier, about an hour earlier, it was there, and then it wasn't there. So I just want to give God thanks and praise for finishing what He began. Amen. So do something, act on it, move, see, hear, straighten up, be delivered, move your legs around, move your feet around, move your arms around, whatever it is, do something you couldn't do, act on the Word of God. What's going on here? Here we go. Uh, from Van Buren, Arkansas. Her feet, her feet are Whoa. healed. <laughs> Glory <laughs> to God. Praise God. Amen. She couldn't do that. Wow. <laughs> and my, my left heel Praise has hurt God. since I did a 5K walk. Um, and I've just had such pain. And when I'd sit down for a long time, I'm, I'm a receptionist at a dental office. And when I'd get up to walk, both feet would hurt so bad this foot from the plantar fasciitis and this foot from having to overcompensate. And just in the in the service, just God healed me like He always does. He's so good. He's so good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, I just said, it is mine. I am healed. I received it. And I immediately started my feeling my foot getting better. And I started just hitting my heel on the floor and the pain started going away. So then I just, I started jumping up and down. I started screaming, praising God. And now I, I can I can hit that foot hard and it doesn't hurt at all. Just not at all. God has completely and totally healed me and it will not come back. This is Lori and she's from Bolivar, Missouri. And her miracle started around a month ago. It was started with the, B, with the magazine and then BVOV Network, faith started coming, and she came, and this today she started for the manifestation of her back, Thank her you. spine, and her thyroid. Good. Praise, Praise God. God. Yeah. Praise God. Completely brand new spine, because I had degenerative bone disease and arthritis, and he's giving me a brand new thyroid, because I heard Kenneth say, just ask for new parts. So yeah. I believed it, I took it. Yeah, that's right. Yes. You've that's heard right. of the auto parts store, this is the human parts store, amen. <laughs> Well, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I have healed you and brought up your soul from the grave. I have kept you alive from going down into the pit. Psalm 31 and 2. I will give you strength and bless you with peace. This is Jana from Lafayette, Louisiana. She had been in the Air Force and she had battled PTSD and they lost everything in Hurricane Michael. But she said she came here in the last 24 hours. She has not even taken her medication. And she said there's so much peace she's never felt this way. Thank you. Wonderful. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. 
I just wanted to say that, you know, all the doctors, all the medication, nothing. I've never felt the peace that I feel here. Um, Brother Copeland, you're amazing. Uh, you know, God has saved me, t like, through everything. Um, and I just am so grateful and thankful to know God today and to be able to share that with my daughter. Um, God is making a way. He is my provider. And I am just, it's just amazing. And Thanks. I love it. And thank Praise you for your God. service. Amen. Praise God. This is Rhonda from Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm going to let her tell you what's going on with her. Rhonda. Ten months ago, I fell 12 feet off of a ladder and shattered my whole entire left arm. I have a prosthetic elbow. They had to do reconstructive surgery, 15 pins, two plates, and the shoulder was totally shattered as well. I am scheduled to have shoulder replacement surgery. I came to this conference wow. for my healing, and I said, Lord, I'm not leaving here till I Hallelujah. get it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Glory to Glory God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The eyes of the blind shall be, eyes are being healed. Eyes are, take it right now. Glory to God. We have Dana from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. She had a rupture in her left eye that left her completely blind, she said. But while the word was going forth, it just popped open and she's seeing perfectly. Oh, oh praise wow. God. Glory, Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory Thank to you, God. baby. Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. About a week ago, I woke up one morning and couldn't see out of it. We had already had this plan, and so when we were sitting over there and the word was coming forth, I said, well, I shouldn't have to have, to have anything done to my eye. And all of a sudden, it just cleared up, and I could see out of it. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Asthma, bronchitis, tuberculosis. Anybody, anybody in here suffers from asthma at all? Take a deep breath. Holy Ghost breath in my lungs. No, 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 no. I just heard the Lord say new lungs and every asthmatic scar in your lung is no longer there. Praise God. I have David from Independence, Kansas. He has been with chronic asthma all of his life. He's 65 years old, never been able to breathe, said he's having trouble all through this meeting. But when Brother Copeland spoke about the new lungs, he took a breath. We were actually, he came to tell his testimony last Sunday. We walked all across the room. He's, he's out running me up here. Wow. <laughs> Praise God. Amen, brother. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Demonstrate yeah. how you're breathing. Just breathe people. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, could never do that. Since I was a child, I've had uh, chronic asthma, and, and to, today I was totally healed, 100%. New set of lungs, new set of lungs from, from God. Jesus' Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is for all of you that got a new heart, and you're short of breath. <laughs> You just couldn't get it down in there. Uh-uh, you got new lungs to go along with your new heart. Everybody in the building. Oh, glory to God. This is Michelle from the DC area. She's an ordained minister. She came to this meeting because she believed God was able to heal her. As Brother Copeland was talking this morning and prophesying that God has given new hearts, she said, God, I need a new lung. So she reached out by faith yeah. and God spoke to her and said, I just gave it to you right now. A new lung, new parts in her body this wow. morning. Glory to Praise God. God. Thank Amen. You, Lord. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Awesome. Awesome. This is Pam from Rolla, Missouri, and uh, she had been suffering uh, with uh, breathing in her lungs. and, and uh, I got injured. I, I was working at a place and my lungs were damaged from chemicals that somebody spilled. Um, and I've had severe asthma since 2015. And I knew I had to come today. I knew I was gonna get my healing. I've got new lungs, but on top of that, I haven't been able to breathe out of my nose since I was a young child and I even had surgery to repair it and six months later, I couldn't breathe again. Praise <laughs> God. Amen. And from that point on, 
2015, I've had severe asthma every day. Multiple times I have to use my inhaler. Um, and I felt like I could breathe all the way down into my lower lungs now. I know, Jesus gave me a new set of lungs today. <sighs> and I could run all the way up and back down now and I would be just fine. <laughs>